Are we finally complete? Let's go take a look. Welcome back to the Dump House Reno. It is echoey in here because everything is finished as far as ceiling, walls, floors. That's why it's so echoey. Thanks for joining us along today. Going to uh, run through the house where almost everything is complete. The power is turned off because we're working outside on the power, but that means that it should be ready to turn back on and go time. I'm gonna take you through the kitchen because be right now, Again, the lights are off. We have appliances, sink, faucet, dishwasher, vent hood, all that good stuff. So take a look at my fancy new kitchen. Brand new door that goes right out to the patio. Lots of uh, counter space, extra storage, pantry in the corner, upper cabinets, and that is the new kitchen. I'll run around the house a little bit more just so you can see this is bedroom I would say two so first one off of the front of the house uh, not counting the master should probably go over there next so this is you know carpet uh, blinds that is something that you have not seen yet we have the blinds they are the lift and stay and the twist are the one inch vinyl blinds that we put uh, in rental properties these days living room with blinds into the master so I'm walking to the front of the house so behind me is bathroom closet and then back into the living room this bathroom has no window so it's going to be very dark in here let's see what you can actually see we've got the sink running water commode the bathtub and tile can we see anything oh yeah you can kind of see it gets real dark real quick tub Shower, all that stuff. Let's go back where there's some more light. So going off, back through the, the family room, living room, whatever you want to call it. There's the kitchen, that first bedroom. We've got another um, hallway closet right here. Now we have bathroom. That, that sink was like a full cabinet, stuck out way too far. I had them uh, uh, trim it back. It looks a lot better because it was coming out about halfway about halfway um, uh, uh, down the bathtub, but we got all that in place. Boom, boom, nice uh, commode, little closet for some extra storage. Oh, on this side, all that good stuff. And you have not seen, I know you haven't seen, boom, pocket door. So where am I? This is the laundry room. I just walked uh, a potential uh, tenant through the house and this was an all moment for them. They thought, ooh, that's super nice. You get not only a dedicated laundry room, but this storage space. I mean, you could put a desk here. This could be an office. It's huge. Very nice. Very nice. And then, of course, back to the back bedroom. We skipped out of the bathroom bedroom, but it's essentially identical to the uh, first bedroom, second bedroom, whatever you call it, closet, room, carpet, walls, ceiling, lights. So we are pretty well finished. You can see everything is brand new, no power, can't turn the light on. Woo. That's new. All of the ceiling vents are in, lights are in, they're all working. Just a few more things. I have my list in the truck. But we do have air conditioning. Want to run around outside real quick? All right, out here in the backyard, still need to replace the window, the bottom sash. There's still a cracked glass right there, but we do have air conditioner. I went ahead and put this mega cage on there just for peace of mind because the amount of money that uh, it takes to put one of those in is a fraction of what it would cost to replace it. Also, you can see this weather head is just kind of hanging down because they fixed and patched and painted the uh, the siding and the soffit and all of that. So next, I'm gonna run that straight through the roof and 
you can see this power line way up here and it just kind of ties off in the tree so once they complete the weather head up through the roof you can reconnect the power turn the power on and we'll be good to go there that's one of the one of the few things left that we have to do I am going to I brought some uh, yard tools I'm gonna try to clean this up there is a stone concrete pathway that goes right here um, it looks like it's covered in an inch or so of dirt. I'm gonna try to scoop that up, lay it over in the flower bed area, something along those lines. There's bricks here, but I don't, I don't know what's going on with this stuff. It's just trash everywhere. I'm gonna try to clean it up some using uh, rake. You can kind of see. Oh, you can't see right there. That's concrete there, and it looks like there's a concrete path that kind of goes this way at least a little bit so I'm gonna to try to uh, clean that up a little bit as well that is it for today actually I'm gonna go do that you wanna join me I'll keep you updated come on let me go get let me let's go get some tools and work on this it for me today it is warm and sweaty out here but I have raked a lot of the broken glass and trash food trash construction trash all that stuff out of the yard so it looks a little cleaner you can't pick up every single little piece but I got a lot done um, over here and then there was a walkway I don't know if you can see that it was under all that grass so now, all of that, I dug all that out just so I can get back down to the concrete. That is it. I am finito. Time to get a drink and drive home. Thanks for following along. The next one should be completely done. Maybe even somebody move in. I did have about three people come stop by today and uh, take a look, walk through, and I gave them the information for application. So. Thanks for following along. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.